Welcome to Stationery September, in which I talk stationery all of September. If you are here for the books, stay tuned, I will be back after this. If you are here for the fountain pens, keep an eye out for Fountain Pen Fridays. So, here I have something from Superior Labour, which I obtained from Nomado's store in the EU, in Belgium to be precise. This is one of my absolute most favorite uh, notebook cover organizer. It's A5. And so for those of you who um, follow the Hobonichi system, that's the cousin A5. But any A5 in here, I have the Midori A5 plain notebook. And this is made of plain vegetable tanned. Uh, cowhide I believe and this is the sort that is not dyed they will patina with age and will turn honey brown um, with sunlight with the um, oil from your hand a moisture from your hand as well now as you can see here this has been sitting in my study for the whole of winter um, in the southern hemisphere that's mid-year and my study is also our wardrobe um, is often cold and very very dry because we have a vent system in the house and so all these um, natural creases of the leather is the natural grain and pattern of the leather simply reacting to um, lower temperature and lack of moisture and also sadly because this was purchased um, at least for me Nomado store in Belgium uh, has a tagline that says modern um, nomad they cater to modern nomads and I mentioned um, in a couple of videos potentially that I travel I used to travel a lot internationally and then of course the pandemic happened and the whole world um, literally um, went into a lockdown mode and even now that uh, travel is possible again it's extremely arduous and expensive with uh, quarantine requirements all over the world that's not consistent um, but a lot of the times it's two weeks at each ends because incubation period of the virus is about two weeks and of course some countries um, will require that you pay for your own quarantine so you can imagine that's a total of one month for a trip if you have to be quarantined at both ends and so this particular organizer have remained unused sadly and um, I am not one of those people who walk around town um, I used to, I was sitting somewhere um, writing my thoughts down. Um, in my current life, I am constantly occupied with thinking about um, various aspects of life which requires that my mind is constantly moving and um, it's very, very hard to find that peace, that space in my head. Um, that is part of my um, different journaling approach for next year which I've mentioned when I talk about the Hobonichi A6 I will talk about that um, in a separate video potentially when I touch base with you uh, talking stationary again in January or February but if you are the sort who would go around um, the city or where you live and sit down in a lovely place somewhere outdoors with this in your bag and you take it out and you sketch and write um, to your heart's content then this is a beautiful way to do it but um, I tend to do that when I travel and because traveling internationally speaking is now has now been removed from a lot of our lists this um, sits there um, and it's uh, yeah I'm getting a little bit depressed every time I think about that but again here the, this is the natural grain simply um, moving with the temperature and with with um, humidity so it's a little bit harder at the moment because it's been in the cold and in the dry and natural leather like this is best when you 
use it when you constantly hold it when you sweat on it when you dribble on it you know when you um, drench it with your sweat and with your oil and with your um, body temperature the warmth of your hand um, the natural moisture that we um, excrete it on our skin it really does enrich um, the the leather um, I may have to feed this um, with something because it's getting a little bit stiff but you can see this is natural um, grain if you prefer something that's uh, less organic looking this mm, I mean if yeah it's something you know the more pristine this might not be for you but let me just show you with modeling with the pen here it can fit quite a few so let's say we put this here like so um, so as you can see there it is just the most beautiful the other one that I am still waiting for is um, I, I hope I'm pronouncing this correctly gallon leather leather gallon 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 right there's the one from Turkey superior labor is in Japan and I believe other than Nomado store in Belgium I think it's the French speaking part of Belgium judging from their address um, I used to live as a child in the Dutch speaking part of Belgium so um, I, I remember Belgium quite fondly the other person who deals with or distribute or have um, collaboration with superior labor in the US in California is Baumkuchen I pronounced that word uh, incorrectly in my previous video I pronounced it like an English speaker um, such as myself um, would have assumed it sounds like I say cushion so it's Baumkuchen I think it's literally um, mean a tree cake or something I think it's a kind of a cake from Germany so I believe Baumkuchen is um, based in California I can't tell you any more than that because I'm in New Zealand but there certainly have online presence uh, both website web store and Instagram and uh, like Nomado store they too specializes in analog the return to an analog a slower not slower pace necessarily but you can imagine fountain pens and writing on paper um, to me anyways actually slower writing with fountain pens on paper that is so enjoyable uh, the process itself I'm forced to I made to stay in the moment a bit more and I think in today's social media um, short attention span instant gratification age it's a welcome change for a lot of people not just people from my generation um, who grew up in the analog world but also for those who never really know the world other than uh, the digital one so I could highly recommend this superior labor in Japan um, it may not be the most cost effective or it's not the most economical but if you found yourself buying 10 um, leather covers or organizer you will perhaps be able to with the same budget purchase one of these um, again um, potentially I'm not quite sure if Baumkuchen uh, still work with superior labor in in terms of as a stockist or distributor or whether they work only in collaboration with products such as this one here um, I this is also by superior labor and there you go and I I believe I obtained this from Baumkuchen I think so I will talk about this in uh, superior labor's pen roll in one of my pen video on Fridays fountain pen Friday please keep an eye out for that I have a fountain pen Friday 
playlist, feel free to check that out. There isn't a lot of videos at the moment. Um, there are several other types of fountain pen storage system that I will go through then. And I will show you the other the other organizer which I have converted into a cover for this Bible, which isn't mine. Um, it's a long story, but my mother found this floating around and I was about to donate it to a charity shop. Um, it has this terrible cover and um, this plastic um, blue sort of, I don't know, this kind of very 1980s and this is from the 80s I believe. I think this belonged to my sister's former fiance. I told you it's a long story. and. Um, this is the version that reminds me of my childhood because when I was a child I was only allowed to read the New Testament and only this version, the good news, this particular translation version. And what I remember with most fondness is these little line drawings here, these ones. I'm not familiar with the drawings of the Old Testament because of course we were only allowed to read the new. So I am more attached to these ones and so I uh, ended up keeping it and uh, using this so because of the thickness as you can see how thick it can get look but because of the thickness I can't put anything in this pocket because it won't um, it'll be too thick for it so let's try that but just to demonstrate how far it could get in terms of thickness so you know i mean you could i suppose you could force it but uh if you remove the pens that's the kind of thickness it can it can take which is quite amazing really um so again uh, there it is yeah so that is the darker actually dyed brown and this one is natural um, undyed which will slowly turn into if you google patina natural leather you'll see the honey brown rather than brown brown like this one here so here you can also see the natural grain of the leather there's a solid brass solid brass another thing i like really really the quality of the leather is superior the stitching everything is very tidy very precise, it's very tasteful, it's very elegant, and I think to name themselves superior labor is quite apt. So I'll talk about um, pen storage um, in a different video for Fountain Pen Friday. Just really quickly, the postcards here is showing a variety of superior labor products um, through Nomado store in Belgium in the EU. I look at that little, so cute, that little paper clip there. Um, so that's the item there. They have a variety of bags as well. Made by, um, not just Superior Labour, but there's another Urukust, I believe. Again, I don't know how to pronounce the name, but I have the bag somewhere. It's again, very simple, very, very good quality leather, but very, very simply designed and um, I just love everything about it. So that's a whole different video. I might talk about that some other time, but for the moment, that's just a bit of a glimpse of um, notebook cover and organizer. Um, this is from Nomado Store and uh, by Superior Labor in uh, Japan. Vegetable tanned, natural cowhide. That's one's dyed in brown, and that's how thick. It can take, let me measure it for you really quickly before I end this. Mm, where did I go? Right. So it is four and a half centimeters or about, what's the inches? Where's the inches? About two inches. Two inches, yeah. So it can take up to that. Um, that thickness there in total with with the with the cover itself so the book on the inside is 
Let's have a look. Uh, it's really this book I keep for sentimental reason, really. I never actually read it. Um, I probably should. So that's the text block itself is about a, um, an inch and a half and centimeters it is about three centimeters there you go that's the thickness it can take which is pretty awesome i thought and um i'll talk to you guys again soon i have some midori collection to share as well before fountain uh, before stationary september ends in about three days time talk to you then bye